Oriana, the winds don't seem as strong right now. However, the effects felt throughout the borderland because of today's weather conditions made for an unpleasant Sunday and challenging one. <laughs> well, you can see right now. <laughs> well, this started off pretty good, you know, this morning. Around, I think it was around 9.30 when it kind of got a little bad, you know. The El Paso Office of Emergency Management warning the community of hazardous driving conditions and to postpone any outdoor activities. However, as reluctant as some residents were to go out, in the end, forced to run some errands, setting off their allergies. But we did have to get a few groceries, so I mean, I did have to come out. I don't want to because as of right now, you can t uh, see that I'm a little congested, but it's just because of this wind, this crazy weather. El Paso Electric crews busy across town all day, especially in the east areas, with multiple reported outages. I was in Juarez, and when I came back, I noticed some traffic lights weren't working. It was around 1 p.m. when I got home, and I was without power for about an hour. Me and my wife went over to eat down to this restaurant on uh, Mount, off of Mountwood, and all of a sudden, you know, the lights went on. Some outages even caused by a vehicle crash. Officials with El Paso Electric at one point reporting 25 outages impacting up to 6,500 customers due to the winds. Now an official with El Paso Electric confirmed to me just moments ago that all power should be restored throughout the region. Winds are expected to continue tomorrow, not as strong, but it is expected to be a little colder. Reporting from West El Paso, Jesus Baltazar, KTSM 9 News.